Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you the best farm for simulacrums and corrupted luminites. It's a two for one deal, so stay tuned. First thing you're going to want to do is go to your adventure mode, go to Losum, survivor difficulty, you don't need to have it any more difficult than that, and then start a new adventure in Losum. We want to make sure that our first area is the Morrow Parish so that we can get the asylum area. If it's not here, re-roll the adventure until this is the starting area for you. So what you're going to want to do is basically just run all the way through as fast as you can. Don't even fight the enemies. You're going to have to fight one boss here in the Great Sewers. It's going to be Bloat King. And after you fight Bloat King, you're going to get out of the Great Sewers and into the next area, which has the Asylum. It's not there immediately. You're going to have to go forward a little bit. But once you do, you're going to get to the Asylum. So head up the ladder go into the asylum and then go downstairs into the basement we're getting close to the very first possible spot for a simulacrum now there's a, three possible spots for the simulacrum here in the asylum they are guaranteed drops one of the three spots will have the simulacrum so you're gonna have to check all three maybe you get lucky in the first attempt i don't know but i'm gonna show you where all three spots are so you know how to do this farm the first spot we're gonna go down the stairs into the basement and turn left in this little corner here I'm gonna show it to you for two seconds this is where the first spot for the simulacrum can be from there if the simulacrum isn't there you're gonna go left and all the way to the end of the stairs you're gonna go outside because we're gonna now do the second location for the simulacrum and this is where we're gonna be getting corrupted luminite from so here, once we're in the garden, we're going to go all the way to the back and we're going to go to the gardener's shed because we want to fight the gardener. The gardener is again a guaranteed um, spawn here of a corrupted uh, minion. So once we fight this guy, we're going to get corrupted luminite from him. So once we're done fighting Ripsa, basically we're going to look inside of his shack and we're going to pick up the third floor key. In here, there's a chance for a simulacrum to spawn. From Ripsaw himself, I'm going to show you the rewards that he gave me. He gave me seven Corrupted Luminite in just one go. So over the course of an hour, you can get about 30 Corrupted Luminite from this guy. From here, we're going to continue forward and go back inside the house to the third and last possible location where the simulacrum can be. Now, this is where it spawned for me on this run, so I just happen to be unlucky. But some of your runs could be even shorter, especially if you're getting the simulacrum in the basement or in the gardener's shed. So you're going to go all the way following this route to the third floor. And once you get to the third floor, you're going to fight off some enemies. Now, once we fight those enemies, we've cleared the area. Everything is perfectly safe. We're going to go into the ma first main room here right on the left. And we're going to go to the balcony. This balcony is going to have the third and final spot for the simulacrum. All right, guys, this is it. That's it for the video. Short and sweet. If you enjoyed it, please like it. Subscribe to the channel. The support is appreciated. I'll catch you next time. See ya.